published 1032s the 26th of November 2017 updated 2104s the 26th of November 2017 England's Ashes tour went from bad to worse on Sunday when Johnny Bairstow was accused of physical violence. Bairstow is said to have headbutted Australia debutant Cameron Bancroft during a night out in Perth at the start. Of this tour, at a time England were still reeling from the arrest and suspension of Ben Stokes. But England, on the brink of a crushing first test defeat going into today's final day in Brisbane, were adamant that wicketkeeper Bairstow had done little wrong and that the accusations had been exaggerated. England's Johnny Bairstow pictured has been accused of headbutting Cameron Bancroft. The latest explosive development came to light at the end of the fourth day of the first test, after Bairstow had been sledged aggressively by Australia, in particular David Warner and Peter Hanscom, when he batted at the Gabba, the comments might have contributed towards a careless stroke from Bairstow, one of England's best batsmen, as they crashed to near defeat. Warner, who is supposed to have cleaned up his act after an altercation with Joe Root in a Birmingham bar led to him being suspended four years ago, is heard saying to England players, you shouldn't headbutt our mates, the comments were picked up by the stump. Microphone and later reported by Australia's Fox Television, leading to an investigation by England at the close, Sportsmail understands Besto told the management, including team director Andrew Strauss, that he became involved in light-hearted joshing with Bancroft during a gathering of England and Western Australia players. It seems certain that there was physical contact between the pair but sources close to Besto said. There was no aggression involved and that Bancroft took no offence at what took place. It is understood that the ECB's highly respected security advisor Reg Dixon, on red alert after the punch-up outside a Bristol bar in September that led to Stokes, being accused of causing actual bodily harm, was at the Avenue bar in Perth with the players and was happy that no bad behaviour had occurred. Andrew Strauss, England's director of cricket, confirmed this morning that England are adamant Besto has not done anything wrong when he said it was, playfulness, no malice, blown out of all proportion. There will be a debrief of players and staff after the test, but former England captain Michael Vaughan said on BT Sport, we need to know the facts. This is a big issue for the team, go back two months with the Ben Stokes incident and Johnny Bairstow was fined by the ECB around that incident for being out too late. I believe that 24 hours before England came to Australia, the players went through their own code of conduct. Now if Johnny Bairstow has broken that, while also being on a fine from an incident two months ago, well I think he has a big, big problem. Bancroft supposedly took the blow during a night out in Perth at the start of this tour. The ECB released a statement after discussions with Bairstow in which they came close to exonerating the player while adding that they will conclude investigations after the first test. There has been no report of any incident from the venue, security or police and there was no injury reported, said the statement. Following an initial conversation with Johnny Bairstow we understand the context and will follow up with England players and management after the Brisbane test. The incident happened on the first night of England's week-long stay in Perth at the start of the tour, which culminated in a drawn match against a Western Australian eleven. Bancroft, who did not play in the Twado game, was at that stage just a fringe contender for Australia and joined some of his state teammates along with a large number of England players at the Avenue. A team insider who was at the club told Sportsmail, Johnny and Cameron were drinking together and Johnny bought him a drink. When he handed it to him they had touched and they carried on drinking together. It's all hype, Besto left and Bancroft right are said to have touched heads but there was no militia no the source said. Johnny is a rugby man and part of their culture is to bump heads if someone buys them a drink. Very odd I know but nothing malicious at all. They carried on drinking with each other, and a cricketer not involved in the England setup, but who is in Australia playing this winter, added, I was there that night. There was no aggression. The suggestion of a headbutt is complete B, but what will concern England is that the incident, seized upon by the Australian media, will lead to more accusations of a drinking culture within the team. Besto was indeed fined by the ECB in the fallout of the Stokes affair, along with Liam Plunkett and Jake Ball, for being out late, but doing nothing wrong, on the same night that Stokes was involved in a serious altercation. The players compiled a code of conduct at the start of this tour, but management were determined to carry on treating them as adults. There is an acceptance within the ECB 
that they cannot keep players confined to hotel rooms on lengthy tours, but the last thing they needed were more accusations that a player has done something wrong. David Warner Wright led the sledging of Bairstow during the first Ashes test at the Gabba Bairstow, innocent or not, has poured fuel on the fire. There is no doubt that this incident would never have been seen as a problem had Stokes not become embroiled in an incident after a wonder game in Bristol. Indeed, it is understood that Bancroft did not want the incident to come to light and has no issue with Bairstow, who is said to have apologised for any misunderstanding. England were clearly inclined to give Bairstow, who has received enormous praise and respect after the release of his book A Clear Blue Sky, the benefit of the doubt incensed Australian mischief at work. Going into the fifth day of play, Australia need just 56 runs to win the first test of the series.